Hi there, grade fives. So maybe you've seen the first video on the first page of the spelling and punctuation exercise that I gave you in your English module. This is the second video where we are going to look at the second exercise. Remember to WhatsApp me your questions or if anything is uncertain and you want some more clarity on anything or if there's a specific video you'd like me to do. So let's jump right into it. I'll start by just sharing my screen with you. Okay, share and let's see. All right. So this was the first exercise we did. Let me close this one maybe and then I'm going to um, just see if I can maximize this one. All right. So there we have our second exercise. The first one we did, the first video was on this exercise and now we are doing the editing spelling and punctuation exercise on page two. Here it was specifically looking at the homonyms, homophones, <laughs> you see even I can get confused, the homophones, advise and advise. These two sound very similar um, and their meanings are related. However, advice with a C is a noun that means guidance or recommendation. Advice with an S is a verb, meaning also to give guidance, recommendation or information. So when the word um, is a verb in a sentence, when it is an action, when it is something being done, then we use the advice with an S. But more commonly, we use the advice with a C which just refers to the abstract noun advice. Um, it is just a thing that is imparted. So let's start with this exercise. I hope it'll make more sense as I go through these examples. My parents always give me good advice. So my parents are giving me something. The verb in that sentence is give because my parents are giving me something. What are they giving me? They are giving me the abstract noun advice. So there, I would use the advice with a C. Okay, let me just remove that capital letter because it doesn't belong in the middle of a sentence and I should end with a full stop. The next one, my advice is to start saving now for the computer you would like. So is this now a noun, advice? Is it something I'm giving you or is it something I am doing in the sentence? Now again, in this sentence, my advice is to start saving now for the computer you would like. So it is something I am giving you. It is the abstract noun advice with a C that I am giving you. My advice is to start saving now. It is something I'm imparting to you as a noun, a thing. Tiffany takes advice from her friends with a grain of salt. Again, it is something she takes. It is a, the abstract noun. It is a thing in the sentence that she takes from her friends with a grain of salt. So let's just pause a minute there because I'd like to explain that as well. Um, when you take something with a grain of salt, it means that you don't just believe it um, as the gospel truth without questioning it. It means hmm, you spend some time thinking about it before just accepting it as absolute truth. So some people in your own life, you might now, now by now know if they tell you a story, hmm, you should possibly take it with a grain of salt because the things they say sometimes they embellish a bit they add some information they add little things that might not be quite true and then you take what they say with a grain of salt other people you know when they speak you can take it literally you can take it as truth because they are completely 100 percent honest but other people you take their advice or their stories with a little bit of a grain of salt so that's just in what we call an expression or an idiom in English. And later on in the module, we also get to expressions or idioms or proverbs. All right, so next one. I would advise you to speak the truth. Now in this sentence, it's not a thing that I'm giving to you. I, am I would advise you, it is something I'm doing. I advise, I do, I would advise. And there it is a verb. So we will use the advice with a Yes, I'm just taking away the capital letter because it doesn't belong in the middle of the sentence. I would advise you to speak the truth. So there it is an action. Never give advice unless you are asked. Once again, we can see there's a thing that is being given. Never give advice. So we've got the advice with a C. 
what do you advise I wear for the party? I'm not asking you what would you, um, what thing are you giving me? I'm actually asking you to do it. What do you advise? Again, I'm asking for an action on your part. Can you start seeing the difference? So for this one, I'm using the one with a S. What do you advise? It's an action that you are, are doing um, or that you are asking the other person to perform is an action. You're not asking them to give you advice in the sentence, but to advise you as an action. So you see, same, same thing, same, same, but different. The presenter offered the audience his words of advice. So he offered it as a thing. So again, it's the one with the C. And you can see here that the one we use most often is the advice that has the C instead of the one that has the S. So that is the same in, in, in life in general. In English, you will most often use the one with the C, but there are instances where it would be the one with the S, where it is an actual verb in the sentence. This is tricky grade fives. I know this is a bit more trickier work, but I know you will get the hang of it and understand it. If you want more exercises on this, you can just let me know and I will give you some more exercises on this um, in due time. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, moving on to the next one. See you on the other side.